Hello everybody and welcome back to Enigmatica 6 Expert and in today's episode we upgrade our bees even further. We get them tier 3 apiaries and we also get ourselves two more centrifuges going because now they're producing blocks instead of regular comb. So it's quite a lot. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we are going to be upgrading our bee apiaries. The plan was that we were going to start working on mechanism now, but unfortunately uh, I do not have an area prepared for mechanism yet. I think we kind of decided on stream that we're going to build ourselves an oil rig, similar to what I did in Ocean Block, but we're going to improve it and make it look a lot nicer than it did in Ocean Block. Ocean Block was just a, a circle on top of a pole on the onto the ocean floor. I have a good few ideas of doing a similar thing. It's gonna be a big circle again, or maybe even a square, it depends on what way I feel like doing it. Um, but we're gonna have like the thing going down to the bottom, of course, but we're gonna have like almost a big floaty ring around it. And we're gonna have like these um, antennas or ropes going up towards the center point. We're gonna have it look really nice. You'll understand next episode once I have it built. But because now I can't do anything else, we're going to upgrade our apiaries to tier 3, and that way we'll have even more resources to work with going forward, which will be good. So, uh, first things I want to do is actually upgrade to dimensional storage. Uh, last episode, just uh, we actually made ourselves like infinite same world uh, range access. So what I want to do now is actually upgrade that to dimension. And the easiest way to do that now is to clear this, grab this out of here, and I've already made myself the three extra infinity boosters, making a total of four. So I should have all the ingredients right here to actually upgrade to the dimension card. And I think it requires molten pink ender slime. So I stick this all in here, and that should be gone and into the system. And if we look up card, boom, dimension card. Now with this, it means we can go anywhere. Which will also be really, really helpful for when we need to build in the nether. And since we need to build in the nether now soon for like doing more like our own crimson altar and other stuff. Uh, it'd be really, really good. And I also did something else uh, on stream just after I finished recording. We made ourselves the soul enchanter. And for some reason you can only place it in the nether. It says you need to have a tartic gem to place it, the lesser tartic gem. But I have a feeling it's locked or in here somewhere. Like, I have a feeling I need to unlock some sort of tactic gem inside this quest in here. Maybe it has to do something with the like crucibles or... I don't know. There's something in here that has to do with the tactic gem, I believe. And since I haven't technically unlocked it, but even though I do have it here, I do not know. But in Adolan, I need to do that. And if I look at Dependency Alchemy, I need to make the Lesser Soul Gem, which can only be made in the Wicked Altar. So we need to make ourselves that Wicked Altar now as well. Uh, but when we're going to get time to do that, I do not know. But this Soul Enchanter is really cool because you can throw stuff in here and upgrade it. Tetra tools don't work so much. I tried adding like sharpness and other things onto it, but it just took the soul gem but never added the enchantment so i mainly did it with my armor and with my armor we've got like tons of mana regen air affinity soul bound end veil aqua infinity respiration on breaking tons of things in there and then on this one we got thorns mana booze mana regen on breaking extra vitality as well maybe i think i think i'm ever clicking a vitality i could be wrong in here we got mana boost, mana regen, and all that. I kind of ran out of soul gems when doing that. So, like, that's why some of them are uh, regen 3 and other ones are only regen 2. And then here we got soul bound, feather falling, mana regen, unbreaking, step strider, rebounding. I think rebounding might have been already on it. But anyway, with all that, we are pretty powerful. More powerful than we were when we were fighting all of those vindicators and evokers in that weird uh, pillager building. That place was amazing. I'd love to find another one, but that's the only one I've seen in the world so far, which was uh, here. I'd love to find another one of those. There seems to be only snow biome so far. If I ever find another one, it'd be fun to just go do it on stream. But yeah, 
Anyway, enough talk. Let's actually get working on bees. What I want to do actually right now is actually like once I take out all the bees is to disconnect all of this. I want to now have importers and exporters on top of everything here, inputting in items and exporting out items. So it would work a lot better than trying to pump everything into an ender chest. And I'll be able to pump bottles into it then as well to start gathering up the honey. So I don't know which ones I'm going to really want bottles in. At the moment, they're all just going to be pumped out. Like there's dire bees in here, which seem to only be exported out with a bottle. So like they're not going to work. Uh, see, it seems a lot of these guys are filled with dire bees. Yeah, so a lot of combs aren't going to work. So that's why we need one that's dedicated to filled with bottles. And the other ones are just going to be whatever. See, now look, I think it's actually a lot of comb in here. Yeah, look how much comb was built up over time because we couldn't export out because each one of these guys were completely filled. And also we won't have to worry about using regular single pieces of comb. Once we upgrade the beehive now, we'll be exporting out blocks of comb at a time, which will be way more efficient. So to actually make ourselves these tier three beehives, I need to go through right now and grab myself out a chest and take out every single bee out of every single one of these apiaries, because if you don't do that, you'll lose the bee when you upgrade it. So I'm just going to quickly do that. And I'm also going to have to make sure I have 10 of each rune. So I need to make sure I have 10 runes of spring and 10 runes of summer. And if we look up rune, I don't have any of that. Rune of summer. Can I make 10 of them? It says I can. So we're going to have to hope it can and see will it work. If it can make all 10, that'd be great. And the other one we need to do then is rune of... That was spring. No, that was summer. Rune of spring. Where's rune of spring? There it is. Rune of spring. We need 10 of them as well. We're missing syrup bottles and flowers. So I'm going to have to get myself more orange tulips and some syrup bottles. Right. We're going to have to start refining up a bit of that um, sap that we're mining out of our trees over in our greenhouse. In the meantime, nearly every single bee is out of this thing. So... I might as well pick up what I can in here. And then that in here, import. Nope, I'm going to lock these guys, export. And I just need one more bee jar. I don't have any in my system. They're all on my bag. So that in here, export. So that's every bee that's in here. And I'm just going to stick the chest. Okay, that's not going to work. Um, I want a good spot that I don't actually disturb any of the plants. I guess it doesn't really matter as long as they're in there for the time being. Right, I need to go through and do that for every single beehive, so give me a second to do that. Right, there we go. Uh, we got all the 10 beehives now. I'm just thinking now, we're actually going to get this done very quickly. I'm wondering, should we make the uh, Wicked Altar as well? Now, I think we should have stick to the bees. I don't really mind if this is a short episode, but anyway. Uh, how are we doing on the runes? Did we manage to make all 10 runes? Uh, no. Are we having trouble over here? Uh, there's no living rock on this guy. Why is that? Did the living rock get absorbed or something? Or did it just not get placed? Actually, that's not the issue. There's something missing here. This one is trying to build... Okay, let me take everything off here. A rune of air. And then two sand. What happened here to cause the thing to stop working? We're trying to make the rune of summer, I'm guessing here. The rune of summer is two sand, two melon, two different pies, a rag, a shard, a rune of air and earth. Oh, I see what happened. The earth shard or the earth rune got picked up. Oh. Uh, okay, phantoms are spawning. I guess I need to go quickly sleep. Yeah, so apparently that can happen if uh, the thing isn't quick enough to add the ingredients to the runic altar so the only thing i'm missing then is an earth shard um i mean what i could do is in here i could remove the rune of earth and air at the moment and then re-add them back once i'm finished crafting all 10 of these runes you can see it's not going to pick them back up which is the issue but if i drop them back in here okay it's actually picking them up i guess if i just keep recycling them into the system it should be fine is there anything else we need to work on at the moment how many tokens of joy do we have so token, if I like a type, I only have six. Uh, craft me four more tokens of joy if possible. Hopefully this thing can craft it and no issues will happen. Okay, so all the tokens of joy and the tokens of summer are done. And what I'm doing right now is we need to actually turn this sap here 
into syrup because of course the thing won't work without it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an ender tank here of syrup in this orange, brown, orange configuration. Then I'm gonna give myself another ender cell because so we're gonna need power over here in the future anyway. So ender cell, I need more nitro things. How many of these can I make? Perfect. So ender cell, probably not a flux block. I'm really probably out of flux cores. Keep an eye on them. Can't wait till I can try and automate them. Anyway, so cable, so cable here and um, we'll start in the corner here we'll do it this way and then we can run all our pythogenic insulators along here or whatever maybe we'll just stick it here so it's not really in the way um actually you know what it's probably perfectly fine right here if we put this tank right here she turn it so it's pointing this way and turn the valve the fractioning still is going to go here and he already has a tiny bit of sap in him so if we enter the sap there and uh, this is going to turn into a mixture of water and uh syrup I want to dump the water. So unfortunately it comes out the same way. So I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to dump the water and the syrup at the same time. Um, Unless I use a fluid router. Hang on. So fluid router from this guy. So if we grab out a bucket here. So bucket of water and that. So this is going to collect us syrup. Can I get a bucket of syrup? There we go. So if I put this guy right here, it should also eject out into the fluid thing. And we want the white top to be water and the yellow side here, syrup. So that means if we put a fluid encapsulator, if we make a new one of these. And we put this fluid encapsulator here. He should only fill with the sap. Is this guy actually... Yeah, so he's only filling with syrup, which is perfect. Because if he was starting to fill with water, we'll have buckets of water, bottles of water, and it won't really work. So with that, it's perfect. And I'll give me back that cable now, because now I need to give this thing power. Uh, so cables and an ender cell down here. And now just fix the floor, and then we're good. So this here is going to be making us um, syrup, and I think I already have a network down here. So if I can run a thing over here and grab myself an exporter, the so one exporter and an importer. Don't have one, so I'll have to craft one quickly. If I grab out some extra cable here. And what I need to do then is for the, looking here again, for the Runa Spring, is the syrup bottles require regular glass bottles. So I need a crafting pattern so crafting also one of those uh construction cores uh do we have our importer yet maybe i should set up a pattern just for the importer so it's easier so if we stick our exporter here importer here and then connect it with cable and run it down i just need to dig down here and see if i can find myself that uh refined storage connection over here all right, there we go. Cable connected. Just need to fix the floor. And there. So the floor is fixed. Cable connected. All I need to do now is just grab out the crafting upgrade now. It should be made. Perfect. And now just grab out some glass bottles. I still have glass bottles set up to craft, right? I think I do. Where's my glass bottles? There they are. So you are the exporter. You're going to export out glass bottles. And you're going to import the finished product. So there and then there. Is right? Input, no, this should be input here. Export out glass bottles. Do I really not have a pattern set up for this? I could have swore I had a pattern set up for glass bottles. Maybe I just have it for glass. Oh, wow. I really do not have a one for glass bottles. I could have swore I had one for glass bottles. Okay, never mind. So regular glass made like that and put it in this crafter here. Oh, might as well have found that out now before we gone ahead and set up our ex, um, centrifuges. Actually, how far are we from making elite centrifuges? Maybe that's something we can do instead of looking at the wicked altar. It requires the controllers elite centrifuge casing, which is a ton of incenium. It's possible. Like incenium, I have 50 ingots. I need 36 ingots per. No, I need a lot more than 36 ingots per thing. 
Okay, maybe I'll have to go mining in the nether for a while just to see if I can get myself a bunch of uh, incendium ore. Or maybe try and figure out something else because I need to figure this out. Oh yeah, and then a trash can here to dump all the water. So this just starts slowly dumping out the water. If I go in here and look at thermal series, let's grab ourselves out a resonant kit. So craft me one of them. And flux amplifiers. There they are. So you get flux amplifiers and you get flux amplifiers. And then we'll just wait until another resonant kit is crafted. And maybe I'll just craft myself another one. So we'll have two. We'll add those in later. The only thing we need to do now is the orange tulips. And do I, where are they here? So can I bone build these things like crazy? Or do I have to like pythogenic insulate them? And uh, let's have a look here. Pytho grow. And if I plant one, can I bone meal it? No. All right, we'll just have to go use the Pythogenic Insulator we have. All right, we should have enough now. They're starting to grow in only have 24, but there's at least over a stack, nearly a stack in here. So they should produce quite a bit. So, spring. Can we craft 10? Yes, we can. Now I have to go over there and monitor that with the extra water runes and other kind of runes. So give me a minute to craft them. And then we can start working on our apiaries. All right, finally, about time I have finally finished making all of them. That took a while monitoring all of the different runes coming in and out. But anyway, I'm actually going to be crafting this by hand just because of like how annoying this thing can be sometimes because it just doesn't work 90% of the time. So I'm just going to do it all by hand. So we're going to have a token of joy, token of spring, a token of that, and two of these, and one of these, and two of them. I'm out of inventory space. And a lot more than that. And a rune of summer. And then we can take a tree right here. And hopefully it'll grow into a beautiful. Anytime now. And boom. Tier tree apiary which got collected. So I need to repeat that. Nine more times. Which is going to take forever. But since I have everything laid out in my hotbar. It shouldn't be too bad. All right, here is the final one. I've also noticed there's a wandering trader over here now, and I didn't see him probably because he is stuck in the hole. So what are you offering me today? A globe. No, thanks. Still waiting for the day you drop a spawn egg. Apparently you really do drop one, but I have yet to see that. So maybe soon. Hopefully he'll drop one. But anyway, now we've got 10 tier three apiaries. I'd love to get tier 4 right now, but unfortunately we don't have the iridescent altar to do that. So, all I have to do is put this down, not holding shift, and just import every single bee I have. Now, I'm not going to unlock them just yet, because I want to make sure I have the sorting system down below set up correctly first. So, what I'm going to do now is to spend the next 5 minutes just importing every single bee one by one. So, bear be. Okay, every bee has been successfully entered. So now what I need to do is come down here. And I know these guys aren't going to be completely empty at the moment. But what I'm going to do is just going to slap an ender chest. Uh, if I can get one quickly and just stick it right here in the ground. Just for a moment. And I'm going to disconnect it right here. And this way it's all going to go straight into the system. Oh my god, look how many is going in at a time. It's great. So what we're going to do is take every piece of comb out of these guys now. Good. And stick it all in the system. And as soon as this guy here is completely empty. Oh my god, there's actually a lot of comb in here. Oh wow. Okay, this is, might take a moment to empty. But as soon as this is empty, we'll be able to compress all of it then. And then from there, we'll be able to start exporting it out in block form instead. As we look in here, tier 3 apiary will output but one block of comb. Which is three more than it originally was. The tier 2 apiary gives out six comb. And of course a block is, well, nine. So it gives out a little bit more. Until we get tier 4 which outputs. And if we have a look in here, two blocks. Which it doesn't really seem like much. But in the long run it is quite a lot. Wait, are you only going to output one per co Wow, okay. Doesn't really matter, I don't even have this bee anyway. He's impossible to find. If anyone has a good strategy of finding this bee, I would love to hear it because I have flown around the end for hours. I could never find one. If I go to the end here and zoom all the way out, 
you can see I have searched quite a bit at the end and I could not find this bee anywhere. He is supposed to spawn on these tiny islands out in the middle of nowhere. And I have flown around hundreds of them. And I could not find them. There's a huge cluster of them right here. There's a huge cluster of them right here. And I have flown around so many of them. And I've yet to find this bee. Look at all the ones right here. You'd imagine I'd find one here. Nope. Either I'm just really unlucky or this bee doesn't exist. And wow. Okay, we're nearly finished out of this comb now. So why does it look like there's more comb being entered? Something's odd. Is there still comb coming down? There is. Why? Hang on. Oh, okay. For some reason... Oh, okay. A lot of these guys were still completely backed up because of all of our extra uh, bees we added since they had nowhere to go. That makes sense. Okay. Are we okay now? Are we empty? I think so. I don't think there's anything left. All right. That's fine. Actually, since we're going to need a ton of export and import things now, since we're just making the components at the moment, if we go to at refined, I want to set up auto crafting for the importer. So importer gets an auto craft and we're using blue connectors and I want the exporter to be auto crafted then as well. So importer exporter, I want them to be crafted. And for each one, I want 10 importers and 10 exporters. Let those craft now while we sort out all the other stuff down here now. So come down. Oh, that was the sparks being crafted. I was about to say, what the heck just spawned? Okay, so if we grab out a key now and unlock every single drawer right here, there should be nothing left. And now I just need to take out every single upgrade. Now if I break this, they should all just stack together, which they did. And now I can put all that stuff away, break you, and all of these pipes can go. I do not need these pipes anymore. Uh, this cable... Um, it's going to be here, which is fine, but it's actually going to go straight into an ender chest now. This ender chest here, I think it's the system, isn't it? Yes, it is. So if we break this and bring it up to here, put this here. Now when comb is produced, it goes straight into the system. So if I just grab out some planks here and some marble brick, I should be able to fill back in this floor now or this wall. Right, so that should be everything gone into the system now. And if I break up this floor right now, might actually take up the entire floor. Yeah, that works for now. Uh, I'll hold on to all that in my bag. Perfect. This cable right here can be removed. And this cable right here can be removed. And that ender chest over here can be removed. There's nothing back here, so... Um, let me just fill back in this wall. Right, does everything still look good? Yes, it looks like it. All right, so now we can fill back in the floor. All right, remove this chest here, remove these... And now we need to figure out which one is going to have the import of glass bottles. Do we use the last one here that already has glass bottles? And which ones do we want to have glass bottles with? If we look up honey now, uh, we have so much honeycomb. So I'm just going to sit here for a moment and compress all of that. But before I do that, let's actually get our bees out of their hives and start producing more honey. So unlock every single one of ye. Beautiful. Now you do the same in here. Okay, uh, I think I have every single comb released and every bee, or every comb released? Every comb upgraded uh, from its uh, honeycomb to the honeycomb block. So if we look in here, we have it, all of them set up and there's a lot of leftovers, which don't add up to nine. So I'm just gonna have to like take them out by hand and chuck them inside this thing on its own. But I'm just looking at it, we only have four sentries. Maybe we should upgrade to another set of sentries. Sent what, am I, what am I saying sentries? Centrifuges. So if we make ourselves another, maybe two centrifuges on either side, that will give enough room to stick more tanks on. Because there's a f few like liquids in here we would like to keep. Uh, like one, vanilla honey. We'd love to keep vanilla honey. Probably look into maybe storing up um, the ender slimes or whatever they are. I know there's definitely a good few in here that we're going to now need to store. So let's work on making ourselves another centrifuge. So centrifuge, we have some centrifuge casing. I need some machine casing. Can I make any more machine casing? Uh, let's see, can I make this? Machine base, rough, okay. Give me 
20 of them. That will give me part of them, part of that. So using that inside a compressor with two invar. Okay, so invar. Divide that, 32. Can I make 32 more of these? I have 28, two, four. If I can get four more of them and then make myself another, hang on, another 12 of these guys. Oh, we're missing reinforced stone. Oh, great. Um, okay, I'm just going to go make all this stuff now and see if we can get ourselves enough ingredients for two more centrifuges. Okay, I think we have everything now. So I have enough casing here, I think, hopefully, to make ourselves two more centrifuges. I don't misplace anything. And the easiest way to do it is just to build it up like this. And then replace the front here with our controller. Oops. And if you look inside it now... Yes, we do. Okay, perfect. So we have everything now. So we'll go over here again, and we need to rebuild it, and then we need to hook it up to power. That ain't going to work until I, like, build it and then place it back down. So, like this, and build it up. Break that, and put down the controller, and it's good to go. So, this is now where I connect the cable. You can see there's no power in it. Now there's power going into it, which is perfect. Now do the same over here. Grab a little bit more cable. Stick the cable there, things get in power, we're good to go. Right, so with this now, we should be able to just start importing in all the things. So if we go to our find, we need to get ourselves a transmitter and receiver, and we need to get ourselves a security card, so autocraft those, please. Or not network card, not security card, what am I saying? We're also going to need our importers and exporters, and we're going to upgrade these now to the better tier of them. So they go in there, so advanced that. And same thing again, so advanced importers, 10 of them. Network card is ready, so now we just need to hook this up in the back here. So network receiver is going to go right here. Select the card. Actually, let me put it one in the ceiling. Yeah, I think that'll work better. Now we'll just come over here and stick it in, and I'll add the sign on it later. So that'll go here. Network card in, and it's good to go. So all I have to do now is to spend the next 5-10 minutes just gathering the combs that we need, uh, or the blocks of combs now, and inputting them into each one. I think we'll save these two here for glass bottles. So if we say importer, exporter, so we'll have an exporter on the top left corner of each one, and then we'll have an importer in the top left of each one, on top right. I don't know if I said top left or top right for the exporter, but whatever. We'll hold on to them in case we need more. But if I grab out some crafters now, we're going to need two of them, so autocraft me that, please. It'll take a second. In the meantime, let me put this stuff away. We're also going to need some stack upgrades. I made myself ten of them. Um, Yeah, no, we need twelve. We're going to need two more stack upgrades. We're missing eight speed upgrades. Uh, I can afford to lose eight. Yeah, all right. So put those in the system and craft me two more stack upgrades. It should only take a couple of seconds. Done. And now that is ready to go. So let's start off with the left one here. We need to look at what honeycomb requires bottles. So definitely ender because that's going to give us dragon's breath. Okay. It has to have bottles. Clockwork comb has to have bottles because that's going to give us builder's tea. And it's going to use nine bottles and it's going to give us builder's tea, clog wheels and andesite. So... Clockwork is going to need it. Shepherd? Uh, no, because you're actually being used for something. I don't need to centrifuge you, because you don't actually really give anything, except for just raw mutton. So you're actually being used for something. Spelling comb? Uh, yes, so that's going to require that. Blaze honeycomb? No. Sooty? No. Clay? Industrious? Isn't industrious going to, like, export out... Oh, meaty. Oh, we don't need that then. But it is going to produce latex. Now, because of that, we're going to have to set a location to store all this latex. And at the moment, I don't think we actually have anywhere. So I might need to set up another dynamic tank and pump the latex over there. But it's mainly the pink slime balls is what I'm after. I think vanilla honeycomb is also a good one to keep since our, that is powering our bee beacon. Um, and I want to make sure that stays full. Wither comb doesn't produce any liquids that is important. Wither, wither honey, no. 
The Wither doesn't, and I don't think the rest of these do. Like, does Ender Slime and all these guys produce it? No, they're just vanilla honey. So they're fine. Emerald, Diamond, Icor, no, Booby, RGB. Does RGB produce any liquids? Nope. Um, I think that's it. Actually, does Dire B? Yes, Dire B. I mean, technically, do I really need to export out uh, bread and nine by nine starter kits? I don't actually think so. Maybe we'll just ignore the Dire B and just let that build up and we can use that as a crafting recipe. And then right, Sky Slime, Generic B, Catnip, uh, that's actually going to start building up again. Uh, but that's just going to require this and make cat spawn eggs, which we do not need. And the other, other one is the generic bee, which is going to produce us eggs and sentient goo. But I don't need that either, so that doesn't need to be put into the liquid one. PCB, you're already being sorted, so you're fine. And dusty and mana. Yeah, I think that's more or less it. I don't think I need anything else. So it's mainly just these four. If there's any that does do show up now in the future, we can get them. So if there's actually only four, I can just stick them all in here and not have to worry about anything else. So if I just grab one crafting upgrade and I grab a bottle as well. So bottles, uh, I think all my bottles are being used up. But if I do that, export that and a glass bottle. Now, anytime this thing is filled, it'll start exporting out those ingredients. So now I'm just going to spend the next 10 minutes just adding in the rest of the, of the other stuff in. So I'll be back in a second. All right, I think I'm at the point now where I think I have every single comb in an exporter. I might be missing one or two, but eventually I'll be able to figure it out once like everything here empties. Um, but I had to nearly put nearly like 11 or 12 of uh, each comb and each exporter, which is quite a lot. And I've been using up like nearly 10 hours worth in this time in a bottle, speeding this whole system up to make it run quicker so it'll get through the comb a lot faster and I won't have to be sitting here waiting for it. I was going to set up like the tank to store the industrial comb, but there's no need to do that. Since technically, it only gives us latex. I'm mainly only after the pink slime balls. And anyway, we're producing a huge amount of latex over in our greenhouse over here. And speaking of greenhouse, I want to grab out some resonant kits and add them into the fractioning still over here now. Just like that. Now, while I was working with this, my thing went, like my wireless uh, crafting grid went dead. I went over here to ch charge it. And oh God. We need to do something soon. Like, it's okay right now because I think I might have found what the issue was, but this red bar was empty. Something was drawing so much power that this reactor could not keep up with it. And I think it had to do with mechanism because I went over to mechanism and I was trying to figure out what thing was using up that much power. I went around to like different dimensions and check to see what ender cell was using what power because my main concern was losing power in the stasis chamber here but the cable here still seemed to have power no problem but i came over here into mechanism and i had a look down here to see what was going on and this guy was draining like crazy and i also then had a look is it is anything in here causing any issues it turns out not these guys didn't have any energy upgrades in them at all. So it was costing a ton of power to run them. See, like there's still a few here that I'm missing some. I think I just got in here now. But because of that, this thing is requiring... The heck? Why are you not exporting out to all of them? Inputs... Huh? Okay, that's a bit odd. That should be going to all of these guys, but it's not. Um, but yeah, the power issue was bad in here. Now I'm considering whether or not I should actually like work on maybe better power now next episode instead of working on mechanism. Maybe we'll start working on the mechanism area and actually fix our power now next episode. I don't know what doing. Either I build myself my power plant that I want to build over here. Uh, maybe I might build it right here. Just build a power plant here because I'm looking at it now. I don't think I'm going to be able to take over this entire area. 
I'm nearly at the point where I have everything so condensed in this small area here. I don't think I have the time or ability to take over this entire area. So I think back here, just underneath the slime island, we might tear down the slime island and build a big chimney right here or some sort of look-alike uh, nuclear power plant. And we'll stick about four or five uh, nitro reactors inside it. And then over here, we'll build our oil rig for mechanism. So I think maybe we'll do that now next episode. But I'm going to do a stream before next episode, so we'll decide probably on stream what we're building. So I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you on the next episode. So without further ado, goodbye.